hi, welcome to this week's episode of Words of Wisdom. So in this episode of Words of Wisdom, we're going to talk about the top 5 tips for strategic planning in a virtual company. Okay, so practically, with a lot of companies, they have like a lot of team members all around the world, especially now startups, especially when you need like new technology and all that kind of stuff. So the first tip, you have to actually stop, analyze and also absorb. Okay, so before you even think about planning, what you have to do is you really have to look at the whole situation in whole and actually have a better understanding or a very very good understanding of what exactly you're getting yourself into and then you gotta really look at it and really absorb the situation like a sponge. Get it? You get me? So the second tip is practically you gotta gather data and insights from your team themselves because there is a reason why you have a team. Getting opinions from a different point of view is actually very, very important because every time, let's say if it's always you, you only see it from one point of view and you only have that one understanding. The third tip that I want to talk about is actually what you have to do is actually communicate your vision clearly because it's always a top-down approach where practically you have to get the vision right and you have to set an example of living that discipline, that vision, that mission of wanting to reach that objective from the top so that it translates down to everyone in your team. So with this, everyone would actually see that one direction and head towards that common goal. Point number four that I really want to talk about is actually you have to plan. Remember people, you have to plan. There is no excuse for no planning, okay? So practically you always have to plan up front but, but you must always be open to change because at the end of the day, you have to set that common plan, that guide, that strategic plan that you need to do. But at the same time, the change comes based on situational occurrences. The fifth and final point is actually make strategic planning a time-bound process. What you have to do is you have to put milestones to it deadlines, when is the start of your plan, implementation plan and all that. You have to have that because when that happens, practically you don't have to like plan a day-to-day -day thing. So once you go on, you only have like, have like a weekly meeting or a monthly meeting and so forth. It's logical and rational. So until next week's episode of Words of Wisdom, if you have anything else that you want to ask about this topic or you want to give, recommend some topics for me to talk about, just comment in the links below. Okay? So, Till next week, uh, words of wisdom. <laughs>